If you are a business owner, an executive, or a manager, it is important to be a leader if you want to build a successful organization. However, many owners, executives, and managers are really just bosses. Do you know the difference? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to this episode of Strategies to Focus and Thrive as a Leader with ODA Strategies Managing Director, Megan Patton. Many leaders are bosses, but not all bosses are leaders. It is an important distinction and one to be aware of as you build your company or organization. What are some of the key differences? I'll go through just a few today. Leaders lead, bosses rule. A leader will lead their team, be there side by side with them, and give the team the confidence to move forward because the leader is there pitching in and believing in them. A boss will stand off to the side and watch progress, often distancing themselves from the team if the project goes awry, but they are first in line for congratulations when the project is successful. Leaders exhibit a two-way communication. Bosses utilize a one-way communication. Leaders know how to listen. Bosses give orders. A leader will listen to the ideas of his team, ask for opinions, incorporate valid suggestions. A leader will be open to receiving feedback and maintains a positive dialogue with her reports. A boss wants unquestioning obedience and adherence to their dictates. A boss views divergent views as insubordination and will squash the attempt to discuss alternate ways of accomplishing something. A boss will exert their authority at every possible moment, often reminding people over and over of their title or position. A leader doesn't need to assert their authority because they command a quiet respect. Leaders know how to motivate their people to results. Bosses terrify people into action. Leaders truly want their team to succeed. They will encourage, coach, give recognition and praise for a job well done. Bosses use fear as a motivator, thinking they have to keep their people on their toes, or they often use the fear of disciplinary action or demotion as a threat. And what's more, they often take pride in the fact that they inspire fear in others. An organization where the presiding emotion is fear will never reach its true potential because people are not motivated in a sustainable way by fear. Fear will accomplish things at a minimum level. Those that are coached and encouraged and believed in can reach a much higher level of performance. Leaders focus on developing their people. They look to raise a person up to the level of their potential. Bosses want the job done and generally don't care about maximizing potential or developing talents. Leaders will teach. If an employee gets stuck, a leader will help them talk through solutions, work on troubleshooting, and encourage the employee to think their way through the situation. Bosses will bark out directions, expect instant obedience, and rarely give a thought to teaching the employee so they don't get stuck again. Give some thought to how you relate to your employees. Are you a boss or a leader? Need help developing some of those leadership skills? I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. Just reach out to me at the contact info listed below. I want to help you focus and thrive as a leader. Thank you for watching Strategies to Focus and Thrive as a Leader. For more great information, visit www.odastrategy.com. Also, browse the other shows found right here at Northeast Ohio Biz TV Shows.